sisters. Y'all first, of course. I want to thank Kyle for driving all the way from North Carolina to see Asia. I want to thank Amina, my sister, for flying all the way from Washington State. Love you, Auntie. I want to thank my nephew, Travis, and my niece, Jessica, for flying in from Tennessee. Mr. Sykes and his wife. Love you! Middle school teacher. Alright, this is my little trip that I got today. First of all, I said I want to honor God first because without him, none of this would have been possible. On January 7, 2002, this beautiful young lady you see before us was born. She was always a happy, fun-loving, inquisitive kid. While attending elementary school, her teacher called me and said, Asia is bossing out other kids. <laughs> so from that point on, I knew she would become a leader. So let's fast forward to middle school and high school. Yes. Yes, we shall. She has remained on honor roll until she completed high school. She did one year of college at Hopewell High School, and she did a year at North Carolina a t two years at North Carolina a t and she finished up with a 3.8 hour to the high school. Yeah. 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 So, Angel, I want to say to you that I love you. And I know without a shadow of a doubt that your future is very bright. And with that being said, I would like to thank each and every one of you guys for coming today. Show your love and your son. This message is for everyone, not just Asia, but because um, I always tell her this. In life, if you can't get it done your way, there's always another way. You always, always have to be optimistic about everything. It don't matter what it is or whatever the situation may be. Um, and I'm only speaking from experience because I never, never, ever gave up. I, my, my number one thing is I tell you, um, in high school, my GPA was about 2.5 until I got to the 12th grade. I got to the 12th grade, it went to a 1.0. <laughs> right? They, they basically kicked me out of it. This is, this is my thing for her, to give her this great. So after that, you know, people, people can give up. But I did. I said, well, maybe school isn't for me. Um, but I did go to college. I did two years of college. And um, it didn't work out. Asia was born. My other kids were born too. But I said, it's time to go to work. But long story short, there's always more than one way to skin a cat. And I had to teach Asia this by example. Her friends, her friends got into the governor's school. She took the test and was mad because she didn't make it. But I said, oh man, it's the first life lesson I can give her. So that, that's what it was. There's more than one way to do something. So now, She's a graduate. And so, to everybody, don't never give up. In Asia, this is just the beginning, baby. That's right. I just want to say that I'm so very proud of you. You may not have grew up as close as you should have been, but I'm just overly joyed. <laughs> I'm glad that you can make Mama proud. Out of the three of us. Hello, <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> It's supposed to be three of us, but now it's two. So I'm glad that you can make Mama proud. No, she make you prouder. I'm just proud of you. 
Mellow. I'm dreaming for you. Everything that I can't do, you're gonna do. Amen. And you got this. Keep pushing. Hey, before we pass the mic, uh, I got a surprise. Uh, that DJ that at her party, man, she was like um, 16 years old, a sweet 16 party. And I was like, uh, hey, so you need to make me a list because I don't know what you like. So she was like, I got you. And this is the list that she gave me. And I'm showing you, hey, look. I'm showing y'all, man. I don't, I don't normally keep things, but... I'm DJ Mockingbird, man. I love this young lady because, you know, her dad, me and him, we've been through a lot. But she gave me this list. And that's her handwriting when she was 16 years old. So I don't know what dropped on that. Probably some sweat for me partying hard. Do you remember that list? So I'm going to pass the mic on there. Congratulations, man. And thanks for having me at your party. Um, I normally don't do young people party, but when my man called me, he know I got it, and I got her too. So I got the Happy Mother's Day to all of you out there. Um, thank you for inviting me. And um, just being in Hopewell, I was Asia's uh, her sixth grade math teacher, and she was she was a superstar. And for for me to be here with her right now, uh, it's, it's a blessing. And I'm not surprised because the work you put in, how you persevered, you took advantage of your opportunities, and you're walking towards your purpose in life. I got this thing called Make It Pop. That's what you did. You made it pop. You know, you know so now you're here. Um, a couple weeks ago, one of our former students, actually three of them, and um, one of them passed away. Three of my students passed away in a car accident in Hogan. So I was there, uh, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade administrators uh, a couple years back. So for me to be here with one of my students who finished college, well, that's powerful. Because I see on the news of some of my former students getting shot and killed and murdered. But to be here and speaking to a college graduate, you know, that's, a, that's on the other side of the coin. So I'm just so blessed. I'm, hopefully I got many more, but I told you, go and get your masters. When your sister said that she was there for you, she just said that, but there are many people looking up to you. No pressure, though. No but you know what you gotta do, right? A lot of people are looking up to you, like somebody said, I need a lawyer back then. So, yeah. you, know, you go ahead and, and you do that because you can. You know, you're more than capable. You know, um, I'm just I'm glad to be here. So, congratulations on some more. I love you. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. You are a winner. You are a superstar. And I love you. You take care of yourself, okay? I probably don't talk too much or whatever, but I will say this. I had me a bad car accident in 2020, the same year I met this one young lady right here. And I had somebody tell me, because I talk about her so much when I'm at work and everything. She said, well, how, how you know she not having sent? And I might have to agree with that, you know that, because I, it's just a lot of stuff I haven't done. And she, in the three years, going on three years, that I've been with you, you showed me so much. Even with my struggles in school, I still support you with your school and I'm glad that you're She she made me feel she made me feel good about myself, but I feel great that I'm with you. Cause I know you're gonna be successful and I'm gonna be there the whole way. 
the whole way. You, you president, I'm first man. come together because honestly my family isn't the same way so I'm glad everybody from everywhere from North Carolina to Washington come out and see my girlfriend graduate. Yeah. Hi everyone. Hi. <laughs> I'm Sakaya. Um, me and Asia we go way way way. I mean at this, at this point we call each other cousins. cousins. Okay. say two, it might have been a little bit after that, but I moved to Hopewell when I was around two, and I came to Canterbury, oh my gosh, and the show and tell that picture please, because we, we literally grew up together, I came to Canterbury, and Asia was my next door neighbor, and when I say Asia and her mom, and her sister, and her brother, we were family, and I don't think you value how much that meant to me growing up. Being in North Carolina, you know, I have not been here as long as I want to, as much as I want to. But when I go there, people don't understand friends and people don't understand what it means to be a real friend. And you gave me that. You gave me that. We were thick as thieves from Maine chasing us around with that nasty the pinky. Dog, that nasty oh, pinky. Just to grow up, going through middle school together, and I really hate that we did drift apart in high school, and then we definitely did drift, drift, drift apart in college. But no matter what, whether it's an Instagram, a Facebook, a text, a phone call here and there, we always let each other know that we are here for each other. And I'm always here for you, and I adore you, I applaud you, I root for you. I don't think you get that, and I want you to get that. I admire you, Asia Moe wow. more. Yeah. You are beautiful. You, know, you have graduated, and you're gonna do big things. You will be somebody's lawyer. You will be my lawyer. I will be your therapist when that time comes. Oh, wow. I love you. I love you so much, and I thank you for being one of the greatest friends that I've ever had in my life. Yes. to my baby girl. 